Time down and time up allow you to adjust the timings in which clips are inserted into the timeline based on when the button is pushed down or when it is pushed up. I've created a simple markup with a few of these to demonstrate. The time down setting in the inspector is found here. This value can be negative or positive. Commonly the time down is going to be negative because you're going to watch something happen live. You're going to click on that and you're going to want that clip to be created X amount of seconds prior to when you clicked on the button because you obviously see the event, you recognize it, and you want to make sure that that clip is fat enough to encapsulate the event that you want in, inside of it. So here we've set it to negative 5, and I'm going to start marking up my timeline. When I click on it, it's going to start the clip negative 5 seconds prior to the click. So it's going to be, the clip will always be at a minimum 5 seconds long. The second one is the time up. Now time up will add or subtract a certain amount of time for when you click the button up or when the button gets pushed up. So when I click on it you can see that that button there's this buffer at the end if you will and it is gonna be five seconds no matter what because you've added five seconds of time to make that adjustment at the end. These can be used together so here I've got a five and a five and this will show you something kind of interesting when I click on it, it starts marking the clip or inserting it five seconds down the track when I click on the button. So it's moving that clip start time five seconds further down in time. And then it's adding five seconds to the clip as it's traveling along. So in essence, we're adding 10 seconds to every clip no matter what on either the start and the end time. The final one for making adjustments is the auto up, which is very, very common. It allows you to create a single click button because you'll just click on it. It will mark time and then time that you input for it will automatically push the button up. So here I've created a very common uh, situation where you want to mark something X amount of seconds prior to the click and then have that clip automatically end after a pre-described duration. So here I've got a negative 5 and a 5 which will create a 10 second clip every time I click on it. So here we go mark and I go auto up and you can see that that inserted the clip five seconds prior to the click and then it times out after five seconds creating that 10 second clip. So that is probably one of the more common ones. It's great for doing statistical counting. Um, it makes your data entry quite a bit easier because you don't have to remember to close or push the button up when you're done. Very common.